Okay, hi, I've got my trial version of uh, Home Designer Pro 2020 open. <clears throat> thought it'd be better to show you in, in Pro than in uh, Chief Architect Premier. And uh, you need, need to go to, uh, in terms of your camera settings, that all of your default settings are in Edit, Default Settings, and then there they are. <clears throat> and here's Camera Tools. So let's go, I'm going to click on uh, Full Camera, click on Edit, Backdrop. That was your question. How, you, how do I edit Backdrop? You click on Select Backdrop. It'll open in backdrop. So there are, you can download more from the Cheap Architect website or you can collect them from the web and whatnot. <clears throat> Let's make this a little bit larger. There's a pretty good selection. Uh, see, most of the time I don't pay much attention to that because most of my work is in Cheap Architect Premiere and I have greater choices and bells and whistles to pull on. Uh, that one sounds, like, oh yeah, that's a nice one. So I set that, and that's for full camera. You can set one, uh, it doesn't make much sense to, uh, for a wall elevation, map click cross section, cross section, yeah, I wouldn't use a backdrop for those, but your 3D cameras, <clears throat> like your full camera, uh, pers perspective full overview, not so much because the backdrop's gonna be a little bit out of sync, but let me just show you. <clears throat> Go over to backdrop. See, there's none selected. That's that's the way the software comes uh, from the factory. You know, it's, it's set up that way. I'll pick up uh, rolling hills here <clears throat> for that cam camera type. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm 72 years old, and uh, I have to clear my throat a lot. And I know some people hate that. And gee whiz, that's tough. <laughs> I can live with it, so can you guys. Okay, we'll go to perspective full overview. <clears throat> and, you know, see the backdrop doesn't move with the camera, so it, I don't think it's very useful <clears throat> for an overview camera. But let's do a full camera. Just stand over here. And, uh, <clears throat> This will be a little bit better with a terrain plane. Let's add a terrain plane. That's a little bit better. <clears throat> and there's other things you can do. You can go over here to the 3D camera, lighting, adjust toggle sunlight. See, maybe that's a little bit better. I don't know. It's up to you. But there's, same, there's pull, strings you can pull on and switches you can throw to change the, the playing field. <clears throat> I'm going to use generic sunlight and we'll now with this backdrop it doesn't make much sense we'll use dusk <coughs> excuse me so anyway th that addresses your first question that you do have choices with this software it's just a matter of knowing what dialog box to use and what all the commands mean and where defaults are <coughs> excuse me, and how to set them. And they're all here under edit default settings. And then there's all the categories. And you, you change the ones that are germane to what you're doing. The other ones just, you know, forget about it. But you know, in terms of drafting, maybe you care about the, the size and the style of the, of the text and so forth. There's controls for that, or even how the arrow looks. I don't like the default arrow myself. I usually use this one. And, but you've got choices there, and it's just you have to be aware of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can also go over here to help and read the reference manual. You can uh, visit the Home Designer website. There's a lot of helpful information there. The, there's a, uh, a place where you can search for help. Let me show you. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. I don't see the one out. Yeah, let's go to technical support. Yeah, here it is, the knowledge base. You just I left-clicked on that, and then now you can up here in the search, uh, 
if you wanted to find out more about physically, ba physically based rendering, by the way, Home Designer has no ray tracing. It has physically based rendering if you have the 2020 titles. <coughs> 2019 doesn't have physically based rendering or ray tracing. Okay, so I click there, click the search, and then some articles will come up. Yeah, okay, adjusting render cam. Here's an article. There's also videos that are germane to uh, what you're interested in. Support articles. This is free and it's on the Home Designer website and uh, I use it all the time. When I, I there's, there's so much to know about this software. <clears throat> I've been using it 23 years and I still don't know everything because I haven't had to use everything that it does. So when I, when I run into a, a barrier, I come here and do a search and look and I read the reference manual and I post questions uh, <clears throat> on uh, Chief Talk and Home Talk. And so there you are. I hope that addresses your question and have a good day. Thanks for watching.